Last year summit gives interesting switch and development. One of the Google Lunar X Prize team uh, presented that one of its partner team member are currently developing developing launch vehicle capable to deliver small payload to low Earth orbit. Why not to try to use such opportunity? Maybe it will be a failure, but to spend 14 grand is not the same as to spend millions on the development of a satellite and then wait for a suitable rocket play to place it on into the orbit or watch undisclosed amount of money burning in atmosphere because of a simultaneously failure of a two main and backup computers. First, for need to get orientation on a craft satellite with a precision 0.3 degree. If error over 0.3, then moon is missed. If nano satellite can achieve this precision, that it will be green light for a craft itself. Second, communication over two channel main and backup has to be proved to capable to transfer data to from ground stations. Third, requirements for satellite testing needs to be passed. Uh, prior, place, prior placing the satellite inside the launch vehicle need to test it. Passing the test is a good step in, I hope, <laughs> known direction. And four, ground station communication have to be developed and tested, but it will be to, com to communicate with the satellite on the Earth's orbit before a a attempting to, fly to, to communicate when it will be flying to the moon. After brief consideration, decision was made to try. As a result, trajectory calculation tailored to properly calculate orbit parameters on low Earth orbit definitely essential part in direction to the moon. And then another development passed to make gyro working. Main units for a rover will be the same as a CubeSat. Camera units, two units looking in the opposite direction and for a rover it will be four camera units. Gyro unit, on a rover it will be two. Main computer with a storage of data. Communication unit, the same. Backup communication, yes, the same. Power plant unit, orientation unit. If development of such components will be successful for a CubeSat, then software can be reused from a CubeSat to a rover. For backup communication, better to be capable to communicate with a CubeSat even if it's out of ground station. Reach decision to use satellite satellite communication to communicate with a satellite. Such modems appears to be on the market in last years. Um, restrictions, temperature. To solve, need to submerge modem into epoxy and uh, trace connector outside the improvised compartment. Power requirements on the transmit is 1.5 watts. Um, main communication, 2.4 gigahertz. This band is des uh, designated as a hoping frequency band. It's uh, as long as a transmitter uh, not stay on the same channel as it's switching during like specific requirements in different countries. Uh, from one channel to another, not stay on the same channel during like one third of a second. Uh, no license is required to operate on that band. Uh, without, with, with no restriction on antenna and uh, for example in Canada it's a power can be 4 watt and in the United States it's a 1 watt. For such band uh, recently there is decent amount of OEF amplifiers which can boost signal and which can uh, boost transmitting signal and which can amplify the receiving, the receiving signal. And uh, when it's boosting power, it can be from to till 1 or 2 watt, which is good. No need to um, spend the time on the amplifier, just needed to get the good one from OEM modules. 
and uh, they concentrate more on the communication, which is uh, also well-known and available module, which is a Bluetooth device. Just needed from a Bluetooth device to strip from a protocol everything which is uh, related to the ACNAC and uh, uh, repeating the message uh, in a case of error. If checksum is not match it, uh, the Bluetooth just simply repeat the message. Uh, it's not practical for a long way communication on the distances. Uh, that means I needed like more, more switch to the software development where it will be more error correction instead of just like needed to disable some feature inside the Bluetooth and just develop error correction which will allow us to uh, wrongly receiving packet to correct them to get the proper data. And the power plant need to harvest from a solar panel as much possible energy and store it in a uh, capacitor. Super capacitor was chosen instead of batteries because the better performance in temperature range. Limitation of temperature higher than 85 Celsius cannot be overcome for sure for the capacitors. But performance on, oh, for this capacitor on, in, in the temperature higher than 85 Celsius limit, uh, it's just only a limitation of a lifetime. And this limitation is around, let's say, couple of weeks, which is, it's okay. Power plant needed to check uh, which solar panel is performing better, what units need to be get most power, store the power inside the storage in this capacitor and after this deliver it to units. Um, and the performance of the such power plant on a CubeSat will be given the best input for redesign source of a power power plant for a rover. Because definitely on a rover will be will be it will be hungry for power and it will be not enough power for a rover and needed like to as squeeze as much energy from a solar panel and definitely on a rover the solar panel will be deteriorating during the mission when it will be on a moon. Camera module, camera module for CubeSat can be a prime element for orientation not only just to take the picture according to the uh, Google Lunar X price and deliver the picture. It uh, can be a prime element for orientation. Just needed to uh, deliver the picture to software in main computer and detect horizon. When you knew where is the horizon, you knew the center of Earth. You knew, that you knew the time, you knew the horizon and as a result um, you knew the Kepler's element of the orbit. Camera needed to strip it off uh, from the optics. Pinhole will be main optical element. And quartz glass on a sensor have to be drilled to make a hole to avoid breaking glass in a vacuum. Orientation module will have a three stepper motors to compare with uh, four stepper motors for a rover. And task for a module uh, will be to adapt rotation to keep required orientation calculated by the gyro modules. Gyro module is main element in the last development and it is working now and we are happy with it. Now the frame. Frame for a satellite. According a spec for CubeSat, it has to be built with a specific standard. On the market now available a lot of different frame CubeSat kits with a price for, for a frame from a five to ten thousand dollars. Team Plan B decided to try to build our own frame. Antenna for communication module have to be deployed. Antenna communication have to be deployed uh, because it's a 2.4 gigahertz. 2.4 gigahertz it's a oriented antenna. Oriented antenna it's meaning it's need to be pointed correctly to the EOS ground station. Uh, orientation to the EOS ground station will tell that okay performance of a 
gyra and orientation module is done and uh, this is like one test when CoopSat will do the communication with the ground station it's green light for everything to go ahead and uh, because of this needed to build the unstandard configuration of a frame one of our partners, Jetasonic Technologies Company, based in Coquitlam, British Columbia, Canada, developed such frame. Everybody interested in a Cubasat frame for commercial offer or for education use are welcome to contact Jetasonic Technologies Company to buy a standard or modified Canadian built Cubasat frame. Please support Jetasonic Technology. And last part in uh, Kubasat development, the ground station, the ground station itself. One of the tasks performed by a rover is to orient antenna to the earth for communication. If to combine ground station with a the rover, then both tasks will be achieved simultaneously. You can see on a video ground station will be just a subset of a rover. Risky move, but we cannot afford double development. And this is antenna. And uh, actually this is how looks the uh, antenna on a Kubesat. Again, if you need CubeSat frame for commercial or for education use, uh, contact Jetasonic Technologies.